Another great location here at Death Valley. This is um, just a little ways off of Artist Drive, which is a one-way kind of scenic loop uh, that winds through the area just south of Furnace Creek. And on the drive, I noticed this spectacular uh, exposure of a fault. And so I thought I'd come up here and, and show everyone a little bit closer look at what faults look like when they're really fresh. And so if you look behind me, there's this, this very polished, sheer cliff that's kind of streaked in red a little bit. Uh, and if we could get over there a little bit closer, which is a little bit tricky given the terrain, um, it's incredibly polished. In fact, from some places on the road, it was kind of reflecting the light a little bit. So that face has been completely polished by the movement along this fault. And as you kind of look down this way, you can actually sort of see the fault uh, breaking through the rocks over there. That, that prominent crack running through the rocks on that side uh, is the same fault surface here. Now these fault surfaces, when they're exposed like this and they're polished, we sometimes call these slick insides. And what we often see is when the fault moves, the, the friction and the grinding action of the two sides of the fault actually polishes the face of the rock. It can grind up the rocks a little bit as well, but what it'll typically leave are sort of grooves or scratch marks or striations on the fault surface that indicate which way the fault moved. Now it's subtle here, uh, but hopefully you can just make out on those red patches behind me that there's sort of a, 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 a line or a set of lines going across that face kind of down and to the left. So what that indicates is that this fault, when it last moved, moved a little bit up and down, but it had a lot of sideways motion as well. So those lines there show us which way the fault moved during the last earthquake. So a very nice, large, maybe about a 50 foot tall fault plain exposed here at the north end of the Black Mountains uh, just near Furnace Creek. Pretty spectacular.